I am giving my remarks today while playing the BP spill cam. I am doing this not because I like watching millions of barrels of oil gush into America's waters and pollute our shores, but rather to help my Republican colleagues remember the disaster they now seem to have completely forgotten. It's bad enough that the Republican House has not passed a single piece of legislation to improve the safety of offshore drilling. Last week, Republicans passed two bills that would put the American people at greater risk of another devastating oil spill. One bill would force us to rush new drilling off the beaches of California, Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, and other states, all without any new safety reforms. The other, the Republican Regulatory Freeze Act, would block all manner of health, safety, and environmental protections, including new safeguards being developed by the Department of Interior to improve the safety requirements for offshore blowout preventers, cementing, casing, and well design. Compared to these bills, the investigation we are dealing with today has the advantage of being trivial, but it's no less misguided. We should be thanking today's witnesses for helping to highlight important safety reforms at the Interior Department and prevent another catastrophic spill from ever happening again. But the committee Republicans aren't interested in looking at reforms to improve the safety of offshore drilling. Instead, we are here to investigate the investigation of a two-year-old copy and paste mistake. Nearly 30 days after the BP spill, with oil still gushing into the Gulf, administration officials work late into the night on a report from the Secretary of Interior set to be released the next day that offered recommendations to the President on how to respond. Between the hours of 11 p.m. and 3 a.m., text was moved around in the executive summary in a way that created ambiguity about whether the report's external peer reviewers, many of whom consulted for the offshore drilling industry, supported a six-month moratorium on drilling in the Gulf of Mexico. The reviewers endorsed an undefined temporary pause in deep water drilling, but did not review the recommendation of a six-month moratorium. When some of the external reviewers expressed concerns about the executive summary, Secretary Salazar immediately sent public apology letters to them, clarifying that the recommendation for a six-month moratorium was his alone, Secretary Salazar. Congressional Republicans, including our chairman, then asked the Interior Department's Office of Inspector General to investigate whether the edits were intentional and politically motivated. The OIG reviewed drafts of the report, emails exchanged between the Department of Interior and the White House, and interviewed peer reviewers as well as Department of Interior employees involved in the editing. The conclusion, there was no evidence of wrongdoing. Not satisfied with this conclusion, the committee majority <clears throat> has responded by turning its investigation to the Acting Inspector General, Mary Kendall. But the majority's problem is not really with Ms. Kendall, and it's not with the White House or the Interior Department either. The majority's problem is with the facts. The facts don't show what the majority wants them to show. So now all that's left is to investigate the investigation. I want to close again by reminding the majority of what was happening at the time. Look at these monitors. This is what Secretary Salazar and the others in the administration were trying 
to stop. This is what they wanted to prevent from ever happening again. And this is what we, in this committee, should be working to prevent. This is under the jurisdiction of this committee to put the safety measures in place to make sure it does not happen again. And this is what this committee has avoided doing for two years to protect against a repetition. Instead, the majority is wasting the committee's time on this trivial and baseless investigation of an investigation.